Welcome back to the almighty outdoors, everyone. Here at the tailgate, I'm just hearing my first bass boat run across the water today. We're going after Mondo's. I'm gonna eat my, uh, my eggs right here. We got some eggs in the skillet with our three cheese wieners. Sleep last night wasn't great, wasn't the best. Uh, temperatures were good. Um, trees got a little saggy on me. Bum started touching the ground middle of the night and these birds, these birds have been going crazy all night, guys. Even the birds are spawning out here. So I kept waking up and thinking it was morning already because the birds were going, nope, they were just chirping all night. Songbirds, bup, 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 having a rave. This sets up quite differently than how I have fished in uh, the previous month, fishing a lot of grassier lakes, timber, stuff like that. This is completely different. So hope you guys learned something today. Let's fuel up. Let's get out there. All right, if y'all missed last video, this water is ultra clear here. I can see my entire boat trailer in the water when I launch. And I ended, uh, well, I, I was only out on the water for about an hour, but I caught a, a couple of bass on beds and they were really moving up. The full moon was just in clear picture or almost a full moon. And uh, this morning, it looks like there's a tournament going on or something. There's so many boats. I think just fishing is good. But I've seen a lot of guys out here on the main lake. So I'm wondering, why aren't you up there in them pockets? So hopefully we get a bass in the hand in just a few minutes and get a good sniff. Continue the momentum into bass awesomeness. All about them large heads today. But I'm going to keep my eye out for some crappie for tomorrow morning. Rock and roll. All right, folks, we're going to kind of start on the outside of the pocket where I was seeing a lot of fish. And I don't think the pocket that I saw the fish in is special. I don't think it's localized or anything. I think there was a bass on a bed. It's chasing away a bluegill. This is something I would never do. I don't know how to fish this thing. This is a um, this is a buka bait. This is like a bull shad. It's custom painted. A, a lady custom painted this for me. The lady that does the paint jobs there signed it. Pretty awesome. It's almost just like a showpiece, but I don't know. It looks like a bluegill. I guess it's a wake bait. So, how fast can I swim this thing? I don't know, I don't know. This feels feels weird for me. Oh my God, oh my God, there's a 10 pounder. There's a 10 pounder. An absolute freaking, it's bigger than all the carp. That's a 10 pounder. Oh my God. way it eats that. Oh my god, it swam right by it. Oh my god, it kind of looked. It kind of looked. It's the kind of fish that needs. It needs something huge. That was a certified giant. going by the motor. Glare's bad that way. There's so many fish swimming through the frame. I can't even focus on one fish. This is ridiculous. Pretty decent bass. I'm gonna catch this one and then probably gonna go pick up my buddy. Oh, it's going right in there and she's gotta have it. Pick it up. Took my claws. Just gonna throw one of these junior krakens on here just for shizzies and gigs. This little three eighths ouncer. And this is uh, it's one of the first 
decent ones I've seen kind of off the bank a little bit that is uh, it's pretty locked all the big ones I've seen I've seen two fish over eight pounds and they are not really set up yet they're pretty spooky where's our spot there she blows Oh my gosh, oh, ate it on the way down. That was insane. Got aggressive with it. Mm. There we go. Oh, what a toad to start the day. Throwing my favorite thing in the world, the Yig, baby. Something about when I switched trailers to a, that crack and craw, it was an immediate anger problem. Noise, noise, noise. Love to see it. Wow, that was cool. You know, it's not rare to see three fish on a bed, but it doesn't happen every day. When you see three fish, Three fish or more on a bed, it is going down. It's time to go pick up my buddy Grant. I, I can't say that I'm surprised at seeing this many big fish so far. Getting them on the line is gonna be a different deal. I'll tell you that right now. Seeing three fish over eight pounds in that one little cove. <laughs> it's ridiculous, y'all. This happens a lot in the spring where you get these big fish, you're looking at them, and it's hard to figure out how to catch them when they get in that phase where they're not eating anymore they're just looking they're trying to settle in it's very tough to catch them so in this situation you could go fish more pre-spawn fish just try a different part of the lake or you could try some other techniques that might get them to bite so I'm gonna go pick up a guy that's really good at fishing swim baits and is used to looking at big fish getting a lot of follows I am not, so maybe he's got some tips that will help us in these type situations. So, let's go get him. Coming in with the big sticks, not playing kitty games. Grant Langmore. Good morning. Welcome. America. Welcome. Yeah, buddy. Bump it. Bump it. I see you got some serious equipment here today. I do. I brought only a couple rods, but I'd say they're all pretty serious. The I just take a gander at this water clarity, my friend. Yeah. I was taking a gander when I was driving up, and holy cow. It looks like the Great Lakes. Like a nice one right there. Two. Oh, wait, no. Carp. A lot of carp. Unbelievable amounts of carp. They're spawning. Gizzard shad right there. Yep. Big one. Big gizzards. Literally everything is up in the shallows. Well, let's fire it up. Yeah, Welcome aboard the Silver Bullet. Yeah, thank you. Let's get her done. I'll show you like a good, a lot of times I'll catch them when I do like the slowest, just clack, 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 clack. And then I'll boom, like super fast. Yeah, and just a dead pause. Is that like, good action? Try and crank it down. Yeah, and then if they're following it and you give it that hard, you know, crank, and then just that pause, it seems like a lot of times they'll, that's when they'll strike it. Burn it like that. Like crazy where, stuff like that. Where it gets Ooh. that splash. Exactly. Well, we're in the stage right now, like they're probably gonna get locked on at some point today. Yeah, that'd be my guess. But there's a lot of them that are literally just cruising. Roaming. They're um, roaming and they're, there's a carp up uh, there. Yeah, it was, every time I did And they're not, um, you know, they're not feeding. Oh, I just had something falling. There's a carp. There's a carp. Carp. So a swim bait has an immense amount of drawing power. That is, that is the magic of swim baits. And even if you don't get a fish to eat it, you can at least, they're at least interested in it. It's like a cat with a laser pointer. They oh, got to see it. <laughs> a little tapper. So I am go I'm going to try to leave a big rod and a swim bait in my hand and learn from Grant today and hopefully we all learn something. We may not catch anything, but we'll, <laughs> we'll learn and I, I, will, I will bet 
at some point today we will have a fish eight pounds or over follow us that close to the boat yeah. sure they see them out here oh god yeah they're... oh my god dude oh I already a, i just had a look at oh wait those are white oh. bats but there was oh, a, a striper dude there was a big uh either a striper or a large mouth was like right on it and it was not that small <laughs> Wow. Oh god, I got my heart <laughs> racing. First, was well, it your first or second like cast? cast out of dock and something literally almost came up and ate it right at the boat. I don't know what I don't know if it was a big striper. I did have a striper oh, oh, follow. Oh, oh. oh, that's a big bass. That's a big bass, yeah. Oh my gosh. Five pounder. Oh my gosh, what are we doing here? It's happening. It is happening out here. So first cast. You gotta follow second cast. You gotta Dude, follow. Whatever came up right here was either a ten pound bass or a ten pound striper. I'm telling and it you. like literally went like this, and just like came up like it was gonna eat it and sucked back down. Oh man, it's going down, like, boy. I've been up since four. I've had three <laughs> cups of coffee and nothing has woke me up quite like that. So, oh, that's that is awesome. A, a great sign. And tried to eat. Oh my god, dude! You just had a giant. Giant. Just hit you. You just cranked it. All right, all right. Try to keep you here on the outside. What's the follow-up move here? Just see if it'll come back or... You're telling me you got blasted on the 2x4. Dude, 100%. Watch him come out. Pop it. Literally leave the tail. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> leave the tail boil. Oh. It was no carpet. Came out, thumped it, and went straight back under the dock. Oh, well. He's interested. There's two. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish right there. Yeah. What in the world? Grant's got two bass following this thing right now. What's the, what's the deal? What do you do? What do you do here? They're just entranced. They are entranced. They're 10 feet away from the boat. See, he's not following, like he's following every ocean, but he's not like... He's not head turning. Exactly. Okay. I'm curious. He's still following it. He's still right behind it. We had a lot of followers and they were, most of them seemed pretty damn smart, but it was like this one eight and a half, nine pounder that. There he is. Oh. Yep. Oh. That long jaw. There's a swim biter. Yeah, buddy. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. I have sat here and thrown a swim bait for an hour. Now, usually, like, this is big for me. Yeah. I mean, that's a good, good sized little meal. For most any fish. This is the biggest bait I've ever thrown in my life. 100%. A two pounder will smash that. Wow. I feel like I need to adjust the reel a little bit here. Man, when it hits the water, it's like, ugh. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, God, that's got a lot of pull. Yeah, you can feel it pull. That's why when they hit it, you know. Wow. I mean, yeah, it feels Try like... Try to do like a little less with it, like almost like quarter turns or half turns. Quarter turns, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a real specific thing. There's Look at those stripers around it. Yeah, dude, you see those stripers? The hell out of that thing. Wow. Fish that for a little one, I want to play with that. Look at a 20 pound striper. <laughs> <laughs> eat it. Just eat it. God, that one looked like he was going to eat it, to be honest. That was a dark fish. That was a dark fish. Oops. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, midday report. It feels like we're hunting Sasquatch. Is that what Probably it feels like sometimes? Oh, yeah. All the time. But it's like when, you get, when you get a hairy leg on camera, just that hairy leg passing through the trail cam frame. Pretty it's, much the rarity of it. It's, too. it's yeah, it's it's huge. So Grant had another one, good size one. Follow it, 
by the boat, wouldn't eat. This is part of the game. Like, how many follows would you say turn into bites? Man, the lakes around me, you don't get that many followers. The ones you get usually bite it. It's weird. I've noticed even the first time I came out here, it was, you know, the vast majority of fish you saw would just follow it and not eat it. But there were, you know, the handful of fish. I guess maybe out here, one out of every 20, one, one out of 10, will take a, you know, a swipe at it. A lot of tire they're of size. Uh, the, the cool thing about the swim I will say, Can kind of force feed them. You're just kind of weaving through the ones you don't want to catch. And then the right fish is going to eat it. And I pretty much throw a five bait year round and catch fish on it. Year round. So you, it's one of those things, in my opinion, you can force feed them. You just got to be dedicated. It's trophy hunt. It's, it. it's trophy hunt. Sasquatch hunt. Sasquatch. With a 50 cal. come to this it has come to this <laughs> that's usually what happens this time of year or just in general to be honest guys it's, we've been we've been grinding on the swim bait game for hours and hours and hours this is how it goes it's been so tough but there's a there's a bedding fish here i saw it this morning it's anywhere from six to eight pounds and she was not even close to getting locked on this morning. And as the day has progressed, at, she's at she's it. getting locked on now. So let's see if Grant can uh, get this fish on a jig. I'm afraid that male is just gonna swallow it and I'm gonna ruin it all. What would happen if you threw the bluegill swim bait in there? Would That's that do anything? This thing, I think, would. Let's, let's see what that, that does. Her off. The old dangerous. Yep. Things are about to get dangerous. Let's see, the male's gonna have a little bit harder of a time. Female would have no problem gulping that thing down. She's turning. She's turning. She's not gonna be too happy with this. Don't think. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. She oh she got it. She got it. Oh my gosh. Yes. There you go, bud. Oh my gosh. Yes, bro. Stay on there. Stay on there. Oh, barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. I'm swinging her. I'm swinging yep, it. Swing it. Let's go. Let's freaking go. <laughs> that was cool. She's skinny. Still. Long fish, bro. Stud. Look at that. Came <laughs> right out. We'll take it. That was awesome. So, hey, that also shows the power of a big swim bait over a bed fish that's true the males can't get it obviously as easy but anything this size and up i mean that's just an easy snack <sighs> beautiful fish we're gonna that get her cool. back and let her go right back to her bag it almost looks like she's already i know laid eggs but i'm telling you that fish this morning would just sit under this dock do nothing it. would not even get close she she got paired up this afternoon let her go let her grow yep she's gonna go Right back up to her boyfriend. I'd say, what the heck, man? Why didn't you protect me? She was actually the more aggressive of the two, which is sometimes not the case, but luckily in this one it was. Let her warm up? Yeah. I mean, first cast in there through the jig, she was getting close and probably would have eaten it. But I was like, huh, I wonder what the big, big swim bait would do and also keeps it away from that male. And she came up there and instantaneously crushed it. Wow, buddy. Mm, got one on the ropes. Oh. Come here, buddy. Just dragging a log. <laughs> Had to do it, guys. Had to switch it up. Just come in here where these fish were setting up, starting to set up this morning, and they're getting paired and getting more active. So there's a traditional caught log fish right there, Texas, Texas style. Made the point. Yeah, buddy. Little buddies.
Ini buka mata. Abdul. Juicy jig, cracking. Mm -hmm. Big wide tail, good fight. All right, where's your mom? Where's your mom? Let me see that jigaroni. Jigaroni and cheese. Yes. All right, we got a we got a male up here, shallow. His girlfriend is over there, about a five ski female usually has a protection spot that she goes and she hangs out if she feels a little weirded out and that's what's happening right now and sometimes a swim bait will actually get her to um, go back into the bed so I've done this with bluegill swim baits before that's like my extent of swim bait fishing big big swim baits he's coming loose for the juice got him oh god look at him Huh. Amazing how delicate. Oh, we got it. Oh my gosh, what a hook set. Oh, buddy. Oh my. They're strong. Watch the girlfriend. He's actually bigger than I thought. Yeah. Come here, dude. Oh. Beautiful little fish. Look at this. Nice. Lateral line on that one. Or just get some freshy. We don't want to leave that behind. We don't. What's that? Crappie? That's a crappie. You got him. You <laughs> got him, baby. That was cool. Good shot hop in there with that other one. Dude, colored up crappies. That's wow. awesome. That is super cool. Well, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. Holy cow, that's beautiful, guys. That wasn't even the one we were looking for. I know, that's a different one. I will, I will say that is my first sight fishing crappie, like on a bed. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like actually looking at the fish and yeah. watching it go down. That was really cool. That was actually pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. That a boy. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That a boy. There we go. Yeah, they're, they're kind of getting warmed up a little bit now. Oh, no, no. Get, Get out of there. there. That was a good on one. pistol grip. Dude, got him on that John B. Signature series. <laughs> Extra tough to laugh. <laughs> Getting a little sight casting with the log. I think that's our first, like, right away. Comes up to it, gonna eat the log. Knows it's gonna... It's still sight fishing, though. It's not a blind cast. Pretty fun stuff. stuff. Fun hey, stuff, he, man. Yeah, uh, did not hesitate whatsoever to suck down the old log. Suck the log. That's my favorite color, too. That is a good looking color. They like it. Dude. It's proven. Crappie and bass just spawning right next to each other. Yeah, wow. oh, now all we need is the carp and we'll have the grand slam. Traffic. Get out the bread. Get out the chocolate chip cookies. Good call. Good eye. Yes, sir. Grant. Is, a snack, bro. Grant is getting into the goodies right now. Homemade. Those are uh, almond butter cookies. Oh. So good. So those are the plain version of what we had last time that had the jelly on them. Oh, really? Yeah, I was that's gonna just say, plain jam. That's a familiar taste. That's just the almond butters, baby. 10 out of 10. Thank you. OSG specials. And we're just lo we're looking in and out of these rocks right here. Last part of the day, try to see if we can find any big heads. It is go time, y'all. Eight pounder on a bed, locked has eaten my jig twice, just taking the claws off the crack and crawl. I'm gonna try to get this fish to eat. It's it's angry, it's sticking. I don't even see a male, it's just a big female, just chilling. She is pissed. Oh, she's right on it. Oh, she mouthed it. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna happen. It is going down. Oh, 
Oh. That's the cast, though. Just come right over that cable. It's going down. Oh, yeah. Come here, baby. Begging. Begging. Oh, what a fight. Oh. Got to love it, baby. She's got it down, too. No way she's coming off with that juicy jig pin. Oh, that is a bucket. <laughs> Come here. Oh, yeah, baby. There's a toad. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that was awesome. Fired up female on the bed. Come on, baby. That's my biggest bed fish of the year. It's not quite eight, but it's it's hefty, dude. Getting there. It's getting there. Let's see how much it weighs. I bet that's a solid six. Man, she got it. She got to be bigger than that. Oh. It is as high six, maybe very low seven. I'm shaking. That was so fun. Oh, dude. Six eighty something. Six eighty something. That's a tasty one there, boy. Mmm! Back to your bed, darling. Boom! Mm. Celebratory Baruski! What's your biggest sight fish of the year? 10 pounds. 10 pounds. That man, the jam. Dude, that fish was crazy. I know, I've never seen anything. Just put, you literally put it in the moss and it ate it out of the moss. Another sight fish. Dude, that one was nuts. Like that last one where it just it just came up and ate it out of the sludge. I don't know so where. weird. I've never seen that before. It literally got a mouthful of moss. Yeah. Easy does it. Oh, does All right, it. so we, we've totally abandoned swim boats. It's just not happening today. I mean, <laughs> why would we throw swim baits when we're, we've caught, you know, 10 in the last hour and a half. I know. Three, four, six, five. Working on a little something here. Working on a little satchel of them. Uh, just had to revert back, guys. Had to revert back to the old school stuff. There's another one up here. See one? See another one. Let's see if it eats it out of the slow. Spot. Spot and stock. And we're just at that time of day, too. I think the more fish are moving up and getting more locked on and aggressive. Whereas this morning it was, it was just not happening. They were kind of, they were up there. We could see them, but they were not willing to bite. So you always have to keep track this time of year, hour by hour, what is going on. We've got a cold front coming in. I've heard it's going to warm up this afternoon. It warmed up and it has turned the fish on. So, oh man, that last fish felt so good. I got a little bait. Probably the best way to describe it. That's exactly right. <laughs> oh, I was on, dude. I was on with a blind cast hot dog. They're actually eating it now. Pistol whipping them with the pistol grip. John B. Special. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I finally lost my log after about 20 fish. They are actually eating it now, guys. She's off to the right. Okay. Literally this morning throughout the day, could not get bit on a lunker log, fan casting it around where you should, where we're seeing cruisers. Later in the day, they are now eating it.
bite has gotten better and better and better as the day goes on. It can be money. I've only done it in the spring like a couple of times. You want? There you go. Oh, God, it's just a good one around the tree. Yep. Still got you in there? Yeah. Oh, don't come off. No, dude, I that looked I like a five pounder. I think I still got her. I still yeah, got her. I hear it. I hear it. You got her. Oh, yeah. I see her pinned. Pinned on the jig. Come on. Get out of here. Get your scuba gear on. Go get that fish. Right in the brush. Dude, this is probably the bigger fish we saw here earlier. Definitely. You know it? Definitely. Oh, no. Don't break off. What are we going to do here? How are we going to get in here? Oh. Stop it. Is it Oh god, don't work that jig out. Don't work that jig out. Go get him. Come here. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this jig's still in there. <laughs> did it break off? I think it did. It did break off. It did break off. Dang. We got pretty Dude, lucky just there. in the nick of time. Yeah, your line is stuck in the in the tree Ooh. still. A good one too. Oh shoot. You grab those snips real quick. I'll snip this off. Alrighty. Dude, I think you got that fish we saw earlier there. I'm sure I did. Snip this line. Guys, that was crazy. I literally grabbed the jig. The blind broke. Grant comes up with the fish down the hatch. Choked. Good one too. Choked, baby. Nice job. Hell yeah. Dude, uh, now they're actually eating blind Dude, casting. They're, they're biting. I wonder if they eat the swim bait now. We can try it. <laughs> but, I mean, God, at this point, it's like, why would we? You I know? know. Yeah. That's, I mean, four pounder. Four pounder on the, the jig. Yeah, buddy. Fun stuff. Throwing that juicy. That's my favorite color right there. That, that is a good looking color. Like Chubby right Craw. There. No line left on there. Just the jig. We tie it. We got the fish. That's all that matters. Fish and freaks. Listen, we have we have grinded today. Grinded with the swim baits. You know, I got so pumped yesterday evening because of what I was seeing up shallow. I was seeing these big fish cruising around. And we have been able today to catch some of those big ones that have moved up. And I think they'll get more locked on tonight as the full moon comes in. The swim bait bite is just off. We had to abandon it because we just were not getting bit. We had a four hour dry spell. But as we sit right now, we actually have a pretty good sack of fish. Grant just landed a nice four pounder. And that jig, that jig is doing work. That juicy three eighths ounce with a little crack and crawl in the back, both sight fishing and just casting around the docks. The fish are actually coming out. They hate bluegill this time of year. So that's why I was hoping that like the bluegill swim baits, they would be attacking, but they're just not coming out for the swim baits right now. I would bet in another month, like when the fry are really out and they're super hot on bluegill, they'll attack that swim bait. But the jig, is a great way to go when you're seeing bluegill around beds and when fish are like this when they're they're a little a little tricky they just don't want to move much today. they just they really don't they really don't and yeah. you threw at a dark spot right there that had some uh some brush in it and that's what that fish was sitting in which i think we saw a bigger fish there earlier today and it was just hovering in its safety spot and was not moved up so that was hurt grant remembered it cast in there boom Got her. Welcome. Oh, 
log dam. Oh, that's a clear water logger. Hiya! Look at that. Colored up. Ready to do business. Oh, yeah. Got him. Well, sir, had a strong finish, slow start. Hooked up. Hooked up. Hooked up on that log. Buddy. Logging. Little, Sundown little, logger. Little buzzer beater. You know, I was just about to do an outro. He just came in hot. Oh, yeah. I knew there was something back here. A little pup. That is a little, little bucker. A little buckaroo. Man, he's been he's been caught. He's before. been through it. He has not learned his lesson yet. What are uh, we at? Like 30 fish? I would say so. 30? 30, 30? Yeah. Creeping up on 30 pounds, 30 fish. <laughs> 30 pounds. I think we would have had over 20 pounds. We definitely had over. Over 20 pounds today. Four pounder, five pounder, seven pounder. We did a little bit of damage, a little bit of work, but man, guys, it took it. We went through, went through the grinder, and uh, just had to stick on those sight fish. And finally, at the end of the day, we're getting some just fan casting, weightless bait fish, which is what they should have been doing this morning, and they just were not. It's crazy. Now Grant's getting out of jerk bait. See, he's. I was gonna end it on that, but yeah. he's he's got to make one more cast. I yeah. I gotta respect it. Well, guys, we're gonna get together again and do a uh, proper swim bait. Uh, no no video. other rods on the deck. Literally Nothing. none, none, none other than than swim bait rods. Go to some of his familiar waters and try it. It was just it was just not popping today, but we gave it a good hard try. We learned some things. Hope you guys learned some things about uh, some swim bait fishing and then also the spawn. And it is going down right now. We got a full moon popping up, and males, females are pairing up on beds. And they can be tough to catch, but if uh, you use some of the methods that we use today, you can definitely get those fish. Definitely get yourself some polarized sunglasses for this time of year so you can see down into the water and see those little things, even if it's a dark spot. A lot of times you see these bigger fish that bed just in those little deeper areas that are hard to see. And uh, that's usually where the big ones like like to hang out. So thank you for tuning in to today's bass episode. Saw some crappie and something I've never done before is sight fish them. Uh, I got the opportunity to pluck a couple today, but I'm going to target that next. So if you're down with the crappie game, you want to see some of that, subscribe to the channel. Go check out Grant if you want to learn how to swim bait fish as well. You can watch some of his videos. I'll link him down below and we'll get together on another adventure. And thank you guys for being here. We'll see you on the next one.